Uh, Ruby, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've, I've seen your work and I'm a big fan, but uh, uh, for those that don't know, uh, you're from Australia, right? I'm from Australia, yeah. yeah. Is that where you got discovered? Uh, sort of, yeah. I started off uh, modeling and going to acting school, got yeah. a job at MTV, and then it ended up here, and I just love it so much. Yeah, you're crushing it, pal. Uh, I know Thank you're you. going back for the holidays, right? I am, yeah. Every year I made a rule that I would always make it home uh, for Christmas. And, uh, but I, I'm nervous this time. I'm nervous for the last six years going what? home. Why are you nervous? I get a lot of anxiety around going home for Christmas, but not like most people, like family feuds or anything like that. No drama, no. Drama. Pig drama. So... What? Pig drama. Pig and, drama. Yeah. Okay. And not, be, not just because I'm vegan and don't eat pig. I mean like a real life pig that wants to eat me lives in my home. There's a stalker pig. <clears throat> Is so, everything okay at the house there? I mean, where do you... There's a stalker <clears throat> pig that's attacking you? My mom always wanted a pig. <laughs> she always wanted a pig, and when I got the opportunity to, to, to buy her a pig, I found, you know, mini pigs. Oh, yeah, the teacup pigs, yeah. Yeah, if it's a giant teacup at Disneyland. And so <laughs> I got... I found this amazing place to rescue pigs, and they have, you know, a, a particular breed called Cooney Cooney, and they meant to stay small. Its parents were small. Yes. And I chose the... Oh, yeah, right. Here she is. So That's adorable. I chose... This is attacking you? This I is the cutest thing I've I ever chose... seen in my lifetime. Isn't it beautiful? And yeah. so I bought my mum that pig, and it grew, like, double the size every week until it's now the size of a, a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Did, did your this, mom know it was not a teacup pig? This is false advertising. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like this is that's a giant pig. Yeah, that's it's like I, when I bought something on Amazon and it was meant to be a chair, but it was this big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and exactly. And I thought I just got a great deal. <laughs> this not so much great deal. Um, it's now, a giant, but it walks around the house. It's like a pet. That's after a no. That that is after a year. Uh, she had to get a new house because it doesn't fit there. It wouldn't fit in there anymore. So it walks around. The pig is that? Is it trained well, the house pet? It, well, now we can't let it walk around the house. So now I got my mom a house and we got a bigger house. Yeah. And now I'm trying to buy it next door because this is the only time I will ever agree that there needs to be a wall. <laughs> and there needs to be a wall. This pig wants to eat anything under the age of 15. And <laughs> it seems to think I am also under the age of 15. Yeah. And my, like, little kind of cubby house that I have at my mom's house it gets smaller each year, and her house gets smaller, and the pig's house gets bigger. <laughs> and mine is... I'm basically sharing a bed with this pig. It's outside these paper-thin doors. Oh, and no. all night, I can hear it, like, calling me, like... <laughs> make, like... Oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And, Frightening. And I will walk past, and I feel like it knows what I think about it. And so... Because they're smart. Since is your smart. vibe, yeah. Yeah. And What's so, the pig's name? Euphemia, which is meant to be beautiful in, in Greek. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, I, I, I still call it emphysema. Like, I'm just, I'm not about, and I love animals, but I just feel like this one could eat me and my whole family. And well, we're last all... year we went to the emergency room because it did attack my little cousin, so. Wait, it really did? Mm hmm What do you mean? What, how did it, what did it do? Did it bite him? My mom has been doing these amazing, like, clicking, I don't know, teaching pigs how to do things by clicking which is also really fun, because um, she starts really early, and... Gosh, we have such different lives, me and you. We have... <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. I love hearing this. Uh, clicking... I, I have nothing, I have nothing to talk about with uh, this. What, well, you're teaching a pig how to do stuff with yeah, clicking? Yeah, like, click, the click is a reward, because clearly she rewarded the pig with food, too young, and now it is enormous. So she clicks for a reward, I'm not sure. Wow. And she, the pig loves her. It just hates everybody else. And she thought it would be a good idea for my cousin to feed this pig inside the enclosure. I wouldn't even go in there. And it kind of like ran at my cousin, who is like 12. And it didn't get, it tried to eat her knee, which it would have successfully done. Um, but she jumped over the fence, but she still had a very big, big boo-boo. <laughs> I think you don't say boo boo after the age of like six. So she basically had a really severe accident and we had yeah, to take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you call that boo Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, we're wishing the, the best for you this holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about Pitch Perfect 3. Uh, here you are. You're in, you're in a rock band competing against the Bellas. Yeah. Uh, uh, for this USO thing. This is the last Pitch Perfect. It is. I mean, they, they always say that, and I feel like it, people love this film so much. I, I hope it isn't the last because I'm such a big fan. Yeah. But uh, How'd it you is. get involved with it? 
Well, I met with Elizabeth Banks about many projects. This woman is so talented, she's always got 20 projects. None of them were pitch perfect. And so as I was leaving, she just sort of said, oh, do you, do you sing? And I was like, yeah, I, I grew up in a church choir, I sing. And she's like, interesting. I mean, she didn't do the Mr. Burns thing. But... Yeah, yeah, that's right, but it's, then... it's good for the story. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, it helps. Yeah. And, uh, and then as I was closing the door, she's like, oh, do you play the guitar? And I said, oh, when I was 16, but I haven't played in years. And she was like, interesting. <laughs> she did, you know, now in, she's in, Russian in, as now well. Now she's Russian. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was convinced that they wanted me to, like, play the Christmas party or something. <laughs> And I had no idea. Bar mitzvah or something. Yeah, bar mitzvah. Yeah. I was so excited. And it was such a letdown to know they just wanted me in Pitch Perfect. <laughs> um, it's a, a giant, giant movie. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, amazing. Oh, just, it's just a really funny, talented cast. I want to show a clip. Here's Ruby Rose in Pitch Perfect 3. Take a look. What about artists you didn't know were Jewish? Oh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. I wish that I could fly, I could fly so very high, very high to the sky, yeah. yeah. Just like a dragonfly, I want to, I want to, I want to get away. Yeah, we'll get I away then. Fly, get away. Oh, come on. Ruby Rose, everybody. Uh huh. Uh -huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.